Hi, I was just doing some phone witnessing. Do you have a minute? I was just doing some phone witnessing, saying a scripture. Do you have a minute? Oh, hi. No, this is the King Hall. So I was witnessing. Oh, okay. That's cool. Uh, yeah. Do you have a minute for a scripture? Sure. Okay. It's um, First John 4, 1. Do you want to look at it or do you want me to just say it? Oh, that sounds fun. Before there's got a time where we normally aren't even here. Well, you said you said you said you had a minute. Yeah. yeah. Um, beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. So. You know, are you familiar with the history of the organization? Is is there a reason you would think that um, they're not a false prophet? Which organization? Uh, the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. Well, out of all organizations that you would uh, talk to me about, you wanted to just start with that one? Of course. Yeah, because you believe that God's only channel on earth. So um, I think it's just I think it's, I think it's a fair question, isn't it? It is a fair question. So are you familiar with the history? Hi, um, I was just doing some phone witnessing. Do you have a minute? What? Who's I talking to and I'll tell you? <laughs> My name is Christine. What's your name? My name's Randy. Oh, uh, yeah. Can I share a scripture with you? What are you doing? What am I doing? We'll have a phone witnessing ministry. Well, I don't mind. I, I thought you guys liked talking about the Bible. We do. Great. So do you have a minute? I call because you feel that somebody's harassed you with some witnessing. No. I, you mean by with a Jehovah's Witness? Yeah. No, they never call me on the phone. Do they do that a lot? Who are you, who are you representing? Representing? I'm just a Christian, so I love to talk about Christ and the Gospel. Okay. Well, tell me what you have to say. <laughs> well, this is a really interesting scripture. Um, Genesis 5, 1 and 2. Do you want me to read it? Sure. Okay, it's, this is speaking James. It says, This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created man, in the likeness of God made he him. Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. <coughs> so, is Adam one person's name? Um, go ahead and tell me what you think. Well, do you think it, it's a name in, this, in these verses of a specific person? I sure do. And so what does it mean when it says he called their name Adam? It means that Adam was the head. Mm. It says they called their name Adam. Okay. So and tell me if I'm, apparently I'm not getting it, so you tell me what you think of it. Well, um, what it means is that Adam also just means human. So it was his name. It described the, his particular person. And then it, the same word was used for his nature, which was human. Okay. He called them Adam. So wh- why this is so cool is because, you know, back in the history of the Watchtower, they don't believe that... So you're, here's the thing. Yeah. You didn't, call, you didn't really call here. You called here to find fault with how I believe. Absolutely, because Jesus said that unless you believe I am, you still die in your sin. So I'm very concerned about who Jesus is. So I just wanted to give you this little analogy that in John 1, okay, 1... Let me, let, me just, let me just say this. Yeah. I've been one of, I've been one of Jehovah's Witnesses uh, baptized 48 years now. And I've knocked on doors for 48 years. And I've talked to people of every religion every faith and every belief and I've done that so many times you can't imagine oh yes I can because they teach that it's 
um, ensures your own salvation. No, it doesn't. No, no, you're, you're wrong there. That's, That's in the kingdom ministry. That, so the Bible says faith without works is dead. The simple fact that our faith moves us to do work. Why did we, we can we in no way believe that we're working our way? Why did you, Why do you say that's not true when I can actually give you the reference on that? On yeah, when I said it in I, I preaching, preaching ensures your own salvation. It's well, in what's on the Watchtower website. Is faith without works dead? Does the Bible say that? I want to talk about why you're saying that is not true, that they don't say that, because I can give you the exact <laughs> reference. You're supposed to believe <laughs> what they you teach. You call here to help me. You call here to criticize me? Not you. But the teachings, the governing well, body. I agree with you completely. And if you think you're going to get anywhere calling a kingdom hall and trying to convince one of Jehovah's Witnesses, wow, that's, that's a stretch. What, I, will what, say, I, do, what? I will tell you this. This is amazing to me because no one's ever called me. No one's ever knocked on my door. And I, I'm talking, I'm 59 years old. So... I got to give you credit for thinking that you believe a certain way and thinking that I'm wrong. Uh, what has convinced you that the governing body is God's only channel on earth when you consider the light of their history and the light of their claims? You're, basically, you're an apostate, and I don't talk to apostates because you won't even identify who you're with. I'm just here by myself. Are you with an organized religion or by yourself? I fellowship with other Christians, but... See, we don't call no, it an organization. Religion at all. I fellowship with other Christians. We don't even have official membership, so you know okay. what can I all say? Right. So you've answered my you've answered my question. Okay. Anyway, thank you for your concern. You have a good day. But you you, you didn't say what convinces you that they're God's channel. I was just seeing some phone witnessing. Do you have a minute? Sure. Great. Uh, can I share scripture with you? Oh, you, you called the kingdom hall, actually. Yeah, yeah. Well, you guys like talking about the Bible, right? Yeah. Are you a Jehovah's Witness or you're wanting to share scripture with me and you're not a Jehovah's Witness? <laughs> yeah, I'm not. If I was, I don't think I'd call the kingdom hall. <laughs> do they do that? Uh, so I'm not. An activity? Yep. Well, I thought you guys should be like warning everybody because isn't it like the last to the last days and stuff like that? Have a nice day. Hi, I was just doing some phone witnessing. Do you have a minute? Uh, yeah. Who's this? Christine. What's, what's, oh. what's your name? Marlene. Oh, okay. Yeah, can I share uh, just one quick scripture with you? This is the kingdom of all. Okay. I, I don't mind. Okay. <laughs> well, um, it's Acts 11, um, 26. Mm -hmm. This is in the New World Translation. Mm -hmm. it, it's talking about um, Paul. It says, after he found him, he brought him to Antioch. He, he brought Paul to Antioch. So for a whole year, they assembled with them in the congregation and taught quite a crowd. And it was first in Antioch that the disciples were, by divine providence, called Christians. Called yeah. Christians. So... Why aren't you guys called Christians? It doesn't say they were divine providence called Jehovah Witnesses. No, we're, and we're Christians. Yeah, but it does. It says di divine providence. It says that's what believers in Jesus would be called, not Jehovah Witnesses. And you know they claim to be the most like the first original church, and, and Acts is the historical record of. The earliest church. Yeah. 
So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Well, thank you. Okay, thank God you. bless you. Bye. Bye. Bye.